real solutions to money, relationships, wellness, and more. Shine a light onto your day and into your life. Power Your Life with Dr. Joanne White. Welcome to Power Your Life. I'm Joanne White, your host. So many people are getting ready to pack up their suitcases this summer to go on vacation. Whether you travel domestic or international by land, air, or sea, it's important to know how to travel smart and safe. Here with tips for travel ease and for more pleasure are Raymond Farnassi and his partner Carol Visconti from Farnassi Travel. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. You are both so such seasoned travelers. You just went on a trip to South Africa, right? And Correct. you just told me that you're traveling the 4th of July to a rainforest in Nicaragua. Yes. Incredible. Yes. So why is it so important for travel agents like yourselves to travel, aside from the fact that you love it, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, I think it is very important for us to travel so that we can recommend the correct destination, the correct resort for each particular client that we have. If you're a family of, with young children or if you're a family with older children, you need to know the correct destination and resort to travel to to make your vacation perfect. So you go to these places and you check them out and you get a sense of what they are. And so when you have people of all different ages with kids, retire, retirees, newlyweds, right? Correct. Yes. You, you can make that recommendation. Yes, right? just in South Africa we had the opportunity of touring over 20 resorts from five and six star resorts to tented camps where they'll just pop up a tent and you're surrounded by uh, wild animals and a fire. So, uh, and again, for the adventurous, for the hiker, and again, for the family, it really works to know your demographic and then match that client with the perfect fit. So oftentimes people come to you and they, they want that kind of information. And how do you get a sense from your clients, like what they need? Do they, they give that to you immediately or do you have to kind of interview them? What, and, and you're doing online travel, but the interview is online too, right? Yes, it seems that the younger clientele still prefer email. So we do have to try to disseminate that information through an email. And most times we will still require a request, a 15 minute conversation just to get almost like a diagnosis right. of where they'd like to go and what their dreams are. We almost give that magic wand and say, please, what do you expect from this honeymoon or this family vacation or reunion? That's important to find out what they really want so they're not disappointed. Why is consulting with an online travel agent the way to go? Well, we always say, why wouldn't you? Our pricing is the same pricing that you would find on the web and you have our expertise. So there's someone that's just putting all of the pieces of the puzzle together, making it run smoothly at the same cost as if you did it on the web and you know worked at it for hours. Now that's interesting because most people think that if they're looking it up themselves, they're, they're saving money and they're finding more bargains, but I'm hearing just the opposite, that yes. it's, it's really the same. Yes. Plus they have it customized with people who are such travelers and really know what's best, right? Actually, statistics are showing that uh, the travel agent is growing and people are finding that it's a better experience when utilizing a travel agent. And what we don't always think is the plan B side of things. And if you are at a resort and you're having an issue, which plan B can always happen, it's much easier to call your travel agent and say help. And we are that lifeline, that phone call away, that text away. We are connected to you. So have you had that experience before? Many times, especially this winter, was very, very difficult. And sometimes it's totally out of our control, but you're missing your flight or it's canceled. You're in lovely Mexico and you're calling me stressing that you know it's snowing in Manhattan or Philadelphia and what could we do? And we work from behind the scenes. If you've ever tried to make phone calls from Mexico to it's, handle oh, that, right, very right, difficult. Right. So give us some travel tips. Just a couple. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, one thing that we were actually hearing in the news this morning was that uh, the airlines are starting to crack down on carry-on luggage. So one of a big tip that we always say is try to be very concise with your packing. Uh, take pictures of your passports, your license, your luggage, so that if your luggage is lost in a connection, you have a picture of it, so, you know, they always say to you, 
oh, you know, what does your luggage look like? Black. <laughs> so this way you have a picture. Uh, if you lose a passport, if you lose your license, you have something to refer to. You know, I think that's so important, and most people would, I, I would never think to do that. So I think that that's great advice. Tell us what's hot in travel. River cruising right now is probably the vogue and probably the most uh, fastest growing sector of the travel market. It's unpack once and travel the Danube, hitting cities like wow. Vienna, Budapest, mm -hmm. Prague. So river cruises, what else? Uh, and again, I think we, we want to touch on the timing. At, at, at this time, Disney is really a good at value. At this time of year? At this time, to book. To, to, yes. Oh, this to time book of year, booking Disney is very, very important. If you want to go for your October, there's a Mickey's Not So Scary Adventure. That's just a wonderful <laughs> way of trick-or-treating Disney World as a family. In fact, we actually yes. did it as 10 of us. It was nine of us. We <laughs> were a baseball team. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, and it was raised parents down to the youngest one. Of course, Ray's father was number one, and we worked our way down to all of the numbers, but it's a wonderful experience so, for families. So everybody loved it, yes. right? Everybody gets something out of yes. that. But that yes. needs to be booked now, and that would be a good timing. So also, that's another tip that you need for those kinds of situations or those kinds of travel plans to book how much in advance? As soon as you know your travel dates, the earlier the better. These things book up, especially when if you're in a city that has school closings for in-service days, those timings are just so important because that books so quickly. So the earlier you can do it, the better. I would say 10 months out if you know your dates, school schedules come out, book it. So that's for families, but so, and, and for weddings you would know that too, for yes. honeymoons, yes. but oftentimes people don't know that, right? right. Correct. Well, thank you both so very much. And when I travel, hopefully, I'm going to contact you. Thanks thank again. You. Thank you. Thank you very My much. My pleasure. Up next, the author of Relationship Rules, Janice Hoffman, joins me after the break with advice for creating love that lasts, that and so much more when we come back. Mm -hmm.